here I am, Mama. I told you I'd be right over, didn't I? What's so important, Marvin? You said you had a big deal cooking. That's right. It's the biggest deal I ever swung in my life. Other than the deal I got with you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you know who's gonna make a special appearance at Mom's Barbecue Palace tonight? The cops. <laughs> it's not funny. They're here every night. <laughs> Our special guest tonight is gonna be one of the all-time greats, Hank Aaron. That's right, Hammer and Hank is gonna be here at Mom's Barbecue Palace tonight in his full portraiture. That's right. You know what we're doing? We're throwing what they call a little a little roast in Henry's honor. Oh, that's impossible. How are you gonna get Henry Aaron here tonight? I got you here, didn't I? <laughs> I got you a few other places you didn't think I'd get you. <laughs> Mm. Well, I sent a telegram to his hotel. I got a copy of it right here. I see. I'll read it to you. All right. See that? It said, uh, to wit, uh, dear Mr. Aaron, your presence is requested at a testimonial dinner in your honor at Mom's Barbecue Palace tonight. Uh, you know the quotation marks around Barbecue Palace? It said, we are thrilled at the prospect of your being here, so you better be here or we're going to get you. <laughs> Signed, Marvin Latimer. Now all we need is some fans. Yeah, how about that? Uh, say that, soul brother. Uh, are you a Hank Aaron fan? Hank Aaron? Uh, Hank Aaron is my idol. I'm a Hank Aaron fan, the baseball nut. Really? <laughs> say, well, look, uh, you're right on time because we're having a tribute for Hank here tonight. It's $5 a ticket, uh, $7.50 if you want one of the little hats with Hank's name on it. Well, I'll take them both. Oh, good. Then, uh... Yeah, I hit your ticket. Get him one of the special hats out. We don't give him just any hat. Give him one of the good hats. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There's your hat. Well, what kind of a hat is this? Looks like a newspaper to me. It is, but it's the sports section. <laughs> see, see, Hank's name is on the fourth page in there. Why, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, now back to you and I, Mom. Oh, uh, give me an order of ribs to go. Well, uh, you know, it's $5 a ticket for the big roast. Oh, I knew meat was expensive. I didn't know they were running lotteries for it. Well, if you want a ticket, it's going to be five bucks. Oh, boy. I hope I win. Yeah, give me another one of them tickets. There you go. You'll probably win. Okay. There you go. Put that in the safe. Put this in the family safe? <laughs> yeah. I ain't worried about being in the safe. I know the combination. <laughs> Yes. Is this Mom's Barbecue Palace? What if it ain't, chump? I'm Hank. <laughs> I'm Hank Aaron. Oh, hey, hey, yo. Hank Aaron's here. Hey, hey it's Hank Aaron. Told you he's gonna be here. Put it there, Hank. Yeah. Told you he's gonna be here. How could I resist? The telegram came collect. <laughs> and, and what are you doing in town, Mr. Aaron? I'm on my way to a sports writer's banquet. Really? No, 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 you're not. I ain't walking out of here. Get over here so he can see you. No, you're still at bed, eh? <laughs> Did you realize how long it took me to put this testimony together? Almost an hour. <laughs> I got a lot of money tied up in this thing. I got four bucks in them paper hats alone. You ain't gonna disappoint all these loyal fans, are you, Hank? All right, I'll stay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll be five bucks for your ticket. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Now let's move aside. Let's get let's get the roast started. Come on, hey, so brother, help move the table over here. I certainly yes. are. Okay. Yeah, what's this? Yeah. Oh, that's my podium. Okay. I'll put this in. Uh, put that in the safe. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. To the first annual Hank Aaron Roast. We're gonna do this every year. Uh, at this time, I should like to call upon the queen of Mom's Barbecue Palace, the waitress who took the order of my heart and served me a double portion of the soul food of her love. Miss Mildred Jackson. Mildred, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're all here to pay tribute to the great 
Hank Aaron. Yay! <laughs> Marvin tells me you did so well this season, that next season your uniform will have an unlisted number. <laughs> All my fans know my number is 44. So's mine. <laughs> She has quite a few fans, too. <laughs> I, I hear you're, you're quite a ladies' man. How's that? Well, every time I pick up the paper, I see you, you, you're chasing some babe. <laughs> that babe happened to be Ruth. <laughs> well, if you can't get Ruth, <laughs> try Mildred. <laughs> Time. <laughs> but don't try stealing home, because her mother always throws the guy out. <laughs> I know a few teams who could use her mama. Yeah. Don't forget, Hank. Anytime you're in town, remember, I'm available if you want to warm up before the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, she was worse than that when Tom Bradley was our guest. <laughs> Mildred has her own idea of the national pastime. Friends, before I introduce our, our guest of honor, you're about to receive a Marvin Latimer once in a lifetime offer. Uh, here I have the 713th home run hit by Hank Aaron. Now, this ball is going to go for the measly price of $10. <laughs> Not going to see an advertisement on your television or magazine. This is the only place you're going to be able to get it. It's the only one in existence. There are no others. Now, who wants to buy this ball? I'll buy it. Oh, okay. There you go. That's good, very good. Okay. Now, who wants the second one? <laughs> I thought you said this was the only one in existence. Don't press it, Hank. You're always trying to get another one, ain't you? <laughs> well, I'll just wait and, and handle this after the uh, affair. <clears throat> And now, at this time, it gives me great pleasure to produce Mr. Hammer and Hank, Bad Henry, Aaron. Friends, what can I say? This tribute will always live in my memory. Fortunately, I have a very short memory. I can't tell you how choked up I get just looking around at this tremendous turnout. <laughs> All of you here to honor me. Some of you have even heard of me. <laughs> and to think it only cost me five dollars. <laughs> Surely no man can ask for more. I think I could have got six out of this. Just... <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd hurry up, Hank. I'm double parked. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun here tonight, and I, above all, has truly enjoyed it. But I do want to say one thing. Baseball has been good to me. The fans have been wonderful to me. And I'm very proud that I've always done what I feel every man must do. I've done my best. Right on. Knock 50 cent off his rib dinner for me, wait. <laughs> And uh, now, friends, at this time, we're going to uh, impose on Hank by asking him to give us a demonstration of how he's going to hit that next home run ball. Okay, so everybody move back. Move back. Get out of the way. Okay, give it a back. Okay, here we go. And the pitch is going to be here on the mound. It's going to be tense there in the stadium. And everybody's going to be digging hard. And the pitch is going to well like that, like that. 